There was a time when gods walked the earth, when warriors were heroes. Their battles and conquests became legend, and the legend lives on. This is the hour of the gladiators. Tonight you'll see the best of Australia's athletes come face to face with each other and our champions. Meet the Gladiators. Vulcan, Cheetah, Hammer, Blade, Cougar, Delta, Force, Rebel, Taipan, Fury, Condor, Storm, Tower and Flame. And now the hosts of our show, Aaron Pedersen and Kimberly Joseph. Welcome to the Gladiators, where the challenge is to go up against the fittest of the fit. Yes, Kimberly, and our four challengers tonight are ready to get into the events and show us what they are made of. It's a contest of individuals against each other and the clock. And of course, they have to face our Gladiators. Our two female challengers this evening are Gina Good and Heather Merrichurch. Gina is 25 from Wallara, New South Wales. She's 5 foot 7, an aerobic instructor. Gina has won several national titles. Heather, 35, is from Southport, Queensland. 5 foot 3, Heather is a gym instructor, mother with two children, and is now into competitive bodybuilding. Please welcome Heather and Gina. All fired up, ladies. Sure I am, ready to go. Now, Heather, you have the family in the crowd at the moment. You're a mother of two, and I'm going to tell people this. You started fitness at the age of 30, so you're 35 years of age. You're a great inspiration to those people at that age. It doesn't end there, obviously. Oh, uh, no, I'll keep going, yeah. You, what made you go to bodybuilding at the age of 30? Um, I was talked into it. My girlfriend talked me into doing it, and um, I just didn't look back from there. I heard, I heard she was very persistent. She was very persistent. <laughs> she <Are> still is. <laughs> and you're looking forward to Gladiators tonight? I sure am, yeah. Well, best of luck, Heather. I hope it all goes your way. Thank now, Gina, you're the adrenaline junkie, I hear. I sure am. I love adrenaline. I love a crowd. <laughs> well, you got one tonight. I hear that you want to be a superhero. What type of hero are you looking at? I'm an ex-team um, member with Blade. She's a gladiator here. Well, you're up. First up, you're in Gauntlet. Let's see how you go. Best of luck, ladies. Let's hear it for Gina and Heather. <laughs> and tonight's male challenges are Clinton Barter and Howard Arbuthnot. Clinton, 24 from Engadine, New South Wales, is six foot and a landscaper by profession. He has been a member of the Australian triathlon team. Howard is 27 from Springwood, Queensland. He's a pole vault champion and sport injury therapist. Let's hear it for Clinton and Howard. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. Now, Howard, I understand you had a very interesting position at the Barcelona Olympics. Yes, Kimberly, I was part of the medical team at, uh, at Barcelona. We were yeah, just basically keeping everybody on their feet. So if we have any injuries here tonight, you're the one we can call on? I'm not sure about that. I think I might be worrying about myself. I can imagine so. Now, uh, you've said that uh, your one weakness is that you're competitive in non-competitive situations. What does that say for tonight? Well, that's true, but tonight I think is going to be very competitive, so it won't hurt me at all. Yeah, I agree. I think it calls for a lot of competitiveness. Good luck to you, Howard. Thank you. Now, Clinton, you have your own landscaping business? Yes, that's right. I've been doing that for about four years now, and uh, I love being outdoors. It's just, it's a great job. Well, you must love being outdoors because you're also a triathlete. Now, you've also competed in France? Yeah, I was picked for a French team um, about two years ago, and I competed over there for six months, and basically I've been travelling for about seven years around the world. Well, we're certainly happy to have you back in Australia tonight to compete in Gladiators. Good luck to both of you. you. 
And now, let the games begin. Gladiators. The challenger is up against five gladiators, and it's a one-way street. Godlet. To score the maximum 10 points, the challenger must get all the way in less than 20 seconds. In the arena is our first challenger, Gina. Gina! 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 And guarding the combat zones are our gladiators, the beautiful Rebel, Cheetah, Blade, Fury, and Delta. And over to our referee, John Alexander. Challenger, ready! Radiators, ready! Three, two, one! Into the tunnel for the gauntlet quest. Gina, straight past Rebel. Cheetah, she makes a sandwich of her. No time for a bite. Out of the way, Blade. Guts and determination, Gina. Fury applies the brakes. Precious seconds being lost. Delta, the last line of defence. Gina spins and turns. Oh, she's over the line. Great work, Gina. What a dive for the line, Gina. Delta just couldn't keep you out. In a time of 20.8, you've got five points. Thank you, that's great. Well, you are the adrenaline junkie. Was that adrenaline enough? That was so much fun. I love it. Yeah, well, you look at you took to them. Did you have any trouble in any of the combat zones? Yeah, they're all pretty good. They're all awesome. Well, you got through the last end, but at the beginning there, you were pinned down. It didn't look like you were going to make it a good time of 20 seconds. I'm pretty determined. And that you did. You've scored five points, Gina. Let's hear it for Gina. Thank you. And please thank our gladiators, Delta, Fury, Blade, Rebel and Cheetah. 20 seconds was a good time for Gina, but now it's Heather's turn. How fast can she get to the other end of the gauntlet? Challenger, ready! Gladiators, ready! Three, two, one! Heather out of the blocks well. Rebel offers no resistance. Cheetah applies the clamps. Heather nearly goes over the top and bangs into Blade. She bursts past Blade. Fury backs up well. Heather nearly over top. She's losing pace and Fury's lost her shoe. Great slam, Fury. Heather up again. She's battling every inch with Delta and bustles her way towards the line. She's over, but you're too late, Heather. Fury was just too strong, pinning Heather to the wall of the gauntlet. Unfortunately, Heather, no points, but, geez, they put you through a lot. They sure did. They were tough. In the last, the second last combat, though, you were slammed to the ground. I sure was, and it hurt. Did you, when you went in, were you just going for, just get to the other end? Just get to the other end any way I could. Well, Heather, bad luck. You didn't get any points, but a great game. Here's here for Heather. <laughs> and let's thank our gladiators, Delta, Blade, Fury, Rebel and Cheetah. So after one event, Gina is in the lead with five points. Heather is yet to get on the board. Now for the male contest, Clinton and Howard. Clinton's first up, and he will be facing Vulcan, Condor, Cougar, Force, and the Mighty Tower. Challenger, ready. Gladiators, ready, three, two, one. Clinton starts off. He meets Falcon with a big hit. He's now past Falcon. Up he comes to Condor. Condor, the human vice. He lets him go. He now meets Cougar. Well, past Cougar and oh, did you feel that? Force hits him with a force chain. Hit these up to Tower. Tower's having fun with him. He pushes him left. He pushes him right. He pushes him left again and pushes him over the line. He's had his fun. Oh, what a battering. And now Tower's just toying with Clinton. Thanks for letting him through, Tower. Big Tower! Clinton, 20 
26 seconds, but no points. Have you had an argument with Tower in the past? I don't think he likes me at all. <laughs> well, you took a, a huge blow at the beginning from Vulcan. Uh, did any of those blows hurt? The first one was probably the toughest, and then I just had to focus right to the end, and uh, it was probably the first blow that hurt the most. And you, you almost uh, got thrown out of the gauntlet then. Yeah, it was a couple of times it was pretty dicey, but uh, I kept getting back up, and I'll keep getting back up all night. Well, let's see how you go next on uh, Pyramid. Good luck. Howard's about to start the run of his life. Let's see how he fares on the gauntlet. Challenger, ready. Gladiators, ready. Howard explodes out of the blocks and Vulcan slams him right back. Vulcan just playing with him. Howard wants out of there, I don't blame him. Condor meets him with an affectionate hug. I don't think so, get out of there, Howard. Cougar pushing him back. A lot of time being lost for Howard. Somersault, backhand, force, squeezing him like a tube of toothpaste. Whistle blows, you were saved, Howard. Nice tumble, Howard, <laughs> right into a brick wall. These guys are built so there's no way around. Gonna slow these guys down. Smash them! Howard, unfortunately, no points. You didn't make it to the end. What happened? No, I'm not even sure if I made it halfway. I, uh, I thought I might step around Vulcan, but he actually stepped into me. Yeah, that's for sure. You started yeah. off on, a, on the, the wrong foot by the looks of things. Thank you for trying, and let's see how you fare in the pyramid coming up next. Well, we'll have to try. No hard feelings, in spite of the hard knocks for Howard. The Gladiators have been just too good. So after one event for the guys, they're both yet to score. Zero each. From the tunnel to the peak, the next game up, Pyramid. And at the top, Cheetah and Flame. Cheetah, 24, 5 foot 5, 55 kilos. She's the quickest cat of them all. When Cheetah's out hunting, you can't run and you can't hide. That's the way she likes it. Gladiators. That's my mountain. Don't even try to climb it. Gladiators. Reaching the apex of this pyramid might look easy, but with two gladiators bearing down upon you, it's a bit more than a leisurely climb. Pyramid. 60 seconds to get to the top. The first to hit the button gets 10 points. I'm a competitive bodybuilder. I also judge bodybuilding competitions. I suppose I spend most of my life in a gym. I'm in gladiators for the fun, but I just love a challenge. Gina and Heather are up against two of our most determined gladiators, Flame and Cheetah. The man at the bottom, John Alexander. Challengers, ready. Gladiators. Ready, three, two, one. Cheetah and Gina on the left, Flame and Heather on the right. Oh, Gina's playing a little bit of cat and mouse with Cheetah, but she puts on a beautiful tackle. That's the way to tackle, Cheetah. Heather's on the sixth floor. Flame doesn't want her there, and she evicts her all the way down to the ground. Flame's happy with that. Here's Cheetah and Gina again. They're back down on the ground, just wrestling. 
Referee breaks them up, and Gina gets a little bit of a break. Away she goes, but a lovely tackle from Gina. Was that a replay? That must have hurt. Heather down on the ground also. Both girls down there, and here we go again. Gina now's got a little bit of a break. There's a bit of a knee from Cheetah. Cheetah now rolling over, and Gina's got the opportunity to get away. Up she goes, but she's going the wrong way. Heather back on the fifth floor. Flying doesn't want her there. Away you go back down to the ground, Heather. And here come Gina and Cheetah again. They're wrestling down on the floor. These girls look tired. Cheetah now goes up, and Gina tries okay. to pull her off the pyramid. Away they go. They look tired. They are tired. Oh, would you look at this? Heather must have felt like a sack of potatoes. Gina looks like she's been hurt. Our physio Luke is taking a look. Great, it seems she's okay. Let's find out what happened. Gina, any injuries? Well, I got a good knee in the mouth, so we've got a fat lip now, so <laughs> it was good fun though. It was all accidental. Yeah, it was good fun. Ladies, unfortunately, no points. They, they hold their own. Oh, look, it's just impossible to get to the top, just impossible. Let's hear it for Gina and Heather. No score for either challenger after the pyramid. So after two events, Gina leads with five points. I'm not in my sports. I'm a professional triathlete. I thrive on any endurance sport, so I know I'm going to go well on gladiators. Clinton and Howard are our challengers on the floor facing the pyramid. And our gladiators are Hammer and Taipan. Challengers, ready. Gladiators, ready. Three, two, one. The men's pyramid, Hammer and Howard on the left. Taipan and Clinton on the right. Clinton running away from Taipan, and Hammer throws in the flying tackle. What a great effort there by Hammer. Clinton now still trying to get away from Taipan. Cat and Mouse, and another flying tackle from Hammer. That must have hurt Howard. He must have felt that one as Hammer goes back up to the middle of the pyramid. Howard now trying to find a way around him, but Clinton goes around Hammer. Taipan doesn't let him go any further and brings him down to the ground. Clinton's got a little bit of a break. Away he goes. Hammer and Howard still here on the left, fighting him out. Howard trying to work it out. Taipan grabs Clinton. He lets him go. He come unstuck, and there goes Clinton up the right-hand side. He's got three steps. Two, one, and there's the buzzer. Clinton gets the ten points in the men's pyramid. What a great effort there by Clinton. He's happy with that. You can see his response. Hammer and Howard still down on the floor. Time running out for Howard to get five points if he can. Up he goes and there's the whistle. What a breakaway for Clinton. He was just too fast for Taipan. It can be done. Clinton, you're looking very proud of yourself there and so you should be. Ten points to Clinton. I saw you though at first. You were avoiding Taipan. That was the main objective. I thought uh, I'd try to uh, get around him with my speed. I've got a lot of speed. And uh, he tackled me the first time and I tried to bring him down with me. That was the main thing I was trying to do. And then uh, consequently he came down and I uh, exploded straight up the side of the pyramid. Well, obviously all that avoidance in the beginning uh, allowed you to save your energy. Oh, the last couple of steps up the pyramid, I thought he was right there. Most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done. I thought he was right there. Well, let me tell you, it's the first time we've seen that buzzer go off, so it was a great sight from down here. Congratulations. Thanks, Linda. Howard, you really got hammered then, didn't you? I certainly did. <laughs> yeah, um, well, the guy can tackle. Yeah, he certainly can. How are you feeling after that? Well, uh, I'm pretty wrecked, actually. Certainly takes it out of you. Disappointed? Yeah, very disappointed. He uh, was quick off his feet. And I made a diving tackle, and he ended up on top and ran away from me. He was trying to avoid you at all costs. He was. He did very well. Hammer, you spent a lot of time tackling that time. Well, after the first couple of tackles, I realised what he was trying to do. He was going to try and get me low and put a step on because he's pretty quick and it would have taken me a bit of time to turn around. So I stayed up there and waited till he came to me and then I tried to put the big shot on. A good move and it worked. OK, thank you very much. Success for Clinton. He's now 10, Howard 0. If Clinton keeps this up, he's going to be hard to catch. 
Next, we have Powerball, where Gina and Heather will need to basket as many balls as possible to gain very valuable points. Vulcan is the wild man of the team. 29 years old, 115 kilos. He's big and tough. He's not one to mess with. Vulcan takes no prisoners. This is not a spectator sport. Bloody. Gladiators. Powerball requires the skill to locate the ball and put it in the basket while dodging the gladiators. Powerball. Two points for every ball in the outer baskets. Three points for the central goal basket. I like to ski and I love dancing. I'm into power boxing and I really like to win. On the floor of the arena are Gina and Heather. Ready to lead our gladiators in a vigorous chase. And the gladiators are Flame, Delta and Storm. Gladiators, ready. Gladiators, ready. Three. The object of this game is simple, folks. Gina in the blue and Heather in the red have to get around our gladiators and put the ball into the basket. Two points for the outside, three for the centre. A shot from Gina is a long one, doesn't go in. Here comes Heather. Oh, great slam dunk there from Heather. She gets the two points and runs off for another ball. Here goes Gina. Great effort. It wasn't in, but rimmed out. There goes Heather once more with a long shot. But what a great tackle from our gladiator Storm as she brought her down. Overhead shot shows the tactics as Gina comes in for her basket. Great shot, Gina. Away she runs now. Heather now high tackle. She loses control of the ball. Gina now coming in for a large stitch effort. She's brought down. What a great tackle. Time running out for the girls, and there's the whistle. Oh, Gina runs off. She's down. Where's the medical person, please? Gina's certainly in the walls tonight. Let's hope she's OK. Bob, our St John's ambulance medic, is taking a close look. It could be a twisted ankle. Gina's being very well looked after. Heather, obviously an unfortunate fall for Gina, but you both scored two points. Oh, I'm glad she did, yeah. She yeah. did a bad fall. Well, you certainly took a pounding there as well. Oh, look, I feel fortunate to, to still be standing after that. <laughs> yes, the girls are quite difficult to get past, aren't they? The girls don't come easy. They're rough. <laughs> girls, Thanks. fantastic yes. run. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, the tackles were coming left, right and centre. Well, that's the aim of the game, is to stop the challengers from getting balls in into the baskets. And uh, we did our job, but unfortunately Gina had a bit of a fall and we wish her a speedy recovery. Our thoughts are with Gina as she's taken off for treatment. What a tragedy if she can't go on. Gina has shown a lot of courage tonight. Gina scored two points before her fall. Heather two points. So after three games, Gina seven, Heather two. It's unfortunate that injuries occur in contact sports of this nature, but Gina is in good hands. Now it's for the men. Is 45 seconds long enough for Clinton and Howard to increase their points? To make sure they don't, Vulcan, Hammer, Cougar. Ready! 
Clinton in the red, Howard in the blue. Clinton gets pushed out of play there by Vulcan. He has to go and get another red ball. He comes around, hits the basket, ball dropped. Howard stretches, Hammer, what a fantastic save over the top. Clinton once again pushed out of play by Vulcan, releases the ball, Vulcan controlling traffic. Howard, can he get another basket? No, Hammer puts in the stop, Howard stretches. Two points to Howard, fantastic work, Howard. New balls now for both men. Howard on the outside. Can he get around? No, great tackle there by Cougar. Puts him out of play. Clinton now runs down. Hammer over the top. Hammer's been fantastic in this game, saving everything. Whistle blows. This was a Hammer specialty. Howard didn't even see it coming. Clinton, they were coming at you. <laughs> they certainly were. Where I just uh, had to try and... Uh, you know, they were putting, putting down the shoulder and that's so I tried to uh, compensate, but uh, the big, go big guys they really are. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. You both didn't get to score. Did you, did you have a plan going into it? N not really, just try to avoid them, but uh, no, they're, they're too big. It's hard to avoid them when they're coming straight at you. That's right, yeah. Vulcan, no, none of them scored any baskets. That was the plan? I think you read my mouth, guy. Nightmare. <laughs> that was the plan, babe. That was a plan. Howard, did you think that uh, baskets were going to come a lot easier? Uh, well, I was hoping they'd come a bit easier, but no, they didn't. No. <laughs> Not when you got three coming down on you. Exactly right, and they can tackle a bit, so, yeah. Well, let's hear it for the guys and our gladiators. Howard's basket was disqualified by the referee because it touched the ground. So no baskets, no scores. That means Clinton, after three events, has a 10-point lead on Howard. So just one game left for Howard to catch up. If you can make it across the shifting bridge and avoid the demolition balls, success is guaranteed. Up next, Heather has to run and the gladiators have to hit. And we're still waiting to see if Gina can get back on her feet and continue the battle. Delta is a 23-year-old fitness fanatic who loves the gym. She's got a sweet smile, but she plays for keeps. Delta thrives on the physical contact in all our games. For her, it's fun. Bloody. Hit and run, where you knock people over. <laughs> I like that. Bloody eaters. Keep on moving is the idea of our next game. Watch out. Hit and run. The challenger must run from one end of the bridge to the other. Every successful crossing earns two points. At the far end of the bridge is Heather. She looks eager, but so do our gladiators. Delta, Fury, Rebel and Cheetah. Over to our referee, John Alexander. Challenger, ready. Gladiators, ready. Three, two, one. Heather's on her way down the platform. Around one and two. 
Dodges three and earns herself two points. Here's the return. She gets around four. Three's got her. Get down, Heather. Heather didn't see that one coming. Bang! That ball's just a bit too big. Heather, you did make it to one side, which earned you two points. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Now, coming back the other way, was it more difficult? Yeah, it was, really, because the balls were already in motion. You know, when they're, when they're first sort of swung out, it's easy to try and avoid them, but when they're hanging free, you know, when they're swinging free, it's so much harder, and I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, they got you. You've got to have those eyes in the back of your head. That's right. <laughs> like having kids. <laughs> like having kids. Not as difficult, though. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> well, Heather, best of luck. Let's hear it for Heather. We've got Gina here. Gina, welcome back. You're back in the competition. What a gutsy effort. Yeah, we've been doing a quick physio treatment at the back. Thanks to the physio, I'm going to give it my best shot. So you were in good hands. Yeah. I got 30 seconds up there, so I'm just going to hang in there. What actually happened in Powerball? Oh, I snapped the ankle joint, so it's um, taped up right now. So, yeah. Are you going to be OK? Yeah, I'm going to give it my best shot. I... Well, that's good to hear. Let's hear it for Gina. What great sportsmanship. Good luck, Gina, from all of us. Challenger, ready. Gladiators, ready. Three, two, one. Gina with a great sprint down the platform. An early two points. Well done, Gina. Coming back for more. Oh, what a great sprint again by Gina. That ankle's not bothering her at all. A little bit cautious this time, she gets around two. Watches out for number three. Pass four, she's up to six points. Great effort, Gina. On her return. Oh, very cautious now, Gina. She wants more points. She looks around, right, left. Is there anything coming? No, away she goes, that's eight points. She's coming back for more. Gina wants maximum points that she can get up. She goes, will she get 10? We'll soon find out. Gina showed us how to do it. Stop and start. Eyes darting all ways at once. Gina, that was just incredible. I know you're injured, but I know that there's something that will make you very happy. You gained eight points. Yes, thank you. Fabulous effort. Thank you very much. I really needed that. I really needed the points on that to get me through the eliminator tonight. So thank you very much. Now comes the time to ask the question, how does it feel, your foot? It's going to hold out. I'm just going to pray and it'll be there tonight. Did you think you'd get through that one? Yeah, I'm, I'm not giving up yet. <laughs> oh, that's a good attitude to have, that's for sure. Now, is there any point where you felt that the balls were going to knock you off? Yeah, there, there were a few aimed uh, right at you there. Yeah, you just keep your fingers crossed and hope for the best. <laughs> and the best it turned out to be. Congratulations to you. Oh, you Girls, she was a good challenger. Absolutely. A wonderful challenger and congratulations on getting through. Thanks. And of course, with that injury, it made it all the more difficult. But you pulled through, and we'll see you in the next game. Thank you very much. Although Gina crossed five times, her last one was after the whistle, so it didn't count. Eight points for her, Heather two. Going into the eliminator, Gina is on 15, and Heather, four points. Both of tonight's winners will go home with this Sony music system containing a 5-disc changer, a gladiatorial 70 watts of power and remote control. And to play on the system, this great selection of CDs from Sony Music. Well over $2,000 value for our challenges tonight. Runners-up will enjoy using this gym equipment from Elite Fitness. Hit and run. They put them up. I knock them down. Bloody. Taipan Force and Condor and Tower are preparing to launch the demolition balls into Clinton's path. Clinton will have to have all-round vision to run the distance and stay up there. Challenger, ready! Radiators, ready! Three, two, one! Clinton's after some extra points, and he's hit, off he goes! None there for you, Clinton! Don't blink, or you'll miss it. Clinton, unfortunately, no points. They didn't even let you get to the other end. Yeah, I, I, I was stuck to my tactics. So I was going to go for it from uh, the start, and uh, hopefully with my speed. But uh, yeah, I got collided. Well, they don't, they don't just push them; they throw them. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, the big boys. Well, unfortunately, Clinton, you didn't score anything. But let's hear it for Clinton. Thank you. 
Clinton Shaw went down fast. Now let's see how Howard performs. Challenger, ready. Ready, Akos. Ready. Ready. One, two, three, you're out of here, Howard! Howard, you weren't even looking the right way. Howard, it's pretty self-explanatory. No points. What happened? Um, well, I was thinking about getting to the middle of the bridge, checking out Tower and the other guy, Condor. You didn't have time to think. Well, I was thinking I wasn't moving, though. <laughs> I didn't realise that... Um, well, I thought I was in about the middle, but obviously the ball came across a little bit on a diagonal or something. So. Well, obviously you have to have eyes in the back of your head. You have to turn your head very quickly. That's for sure. Well, you didn't last long. You know what's coming up next, don't you? Yeah, the Eliminator. I think I'll probably have about a five-second uh, delay on my start, so I'll be chasing, and I'll, I guess I'll just have to try and chase very quickly. Well, you better get pumped up for it. We'll see you then. Thank you. No points for hit and run. So at the end of our four games, Clinton has 10, Howard zip. That's a great advantage for Clinton at this stage. Well, it's been an exciting series of events. Clinton and Howard have applied their skill and determination, but there's more to come. Next, we'll see if they have the reserve to power through the Eliminator. Bloody. Wow, what a struggle we've seen tonight. But we ask even more of our challengers. Our challengers have run the gamut in all events tonight. Each one demands skill and perseverance. The gauntlet, pyramid, powerball and hit and run have all taken their toll on our challengers, especially Gina. But now, Heather and Gina desperately want to get through to the quarterfinal. So which one shall it be? Eliminator. A giant obstacle course is the best way to think of the Eliminator. Gina will start five seconds ahead of Heather. Gina, you're back here in the arena with us. You've made it to the Eliminator. We didn't think you'd be here. You have a five-point second lead. Is that going to be uh, a boost of confidence for yourself? We'll give it our best shot. I'm on one leg for this. I've got a stuffed ankle, so I'm going to, you know, do my best. Heather, five-point lead to uh, Gina, is that going to cause a problem for yourself? It's going to make it very hard, I'm sure. But perseverance is a word that comes to mind. Well, just get out there and I'll just try my best. That's all I can do. And you've got the family here. They're going to be cheering you on. I hope so. <laughs> Ladies, I'd like to wish you the best of luck to Heather and Gina. <laughs> Gina, you will go on my whistle. Heather, you will go on John's. Three, two, one. Gina has the advantage. That ankle seems to be holding her back. She can't afford any delay with a competitor like Heather. Heather's off and has no trouble negotiating hurdle number one. Hurdle number three and Gina's still having problems getting over. And now they come up to the next challenge. 
Upper body strength will really come to the fore in the rope climb. Heather's made up some great time. And she scrambles onto the platform first. Heather applies the resin to her hands and attempts the monkey bars. Two at a time, she's confident. Here comes Gina on the outside. Oh, she's fallen. That won't help her ankle at all. She has the advantage of going up the rope ladder to make up for any lost time. Heather negotiates the rolling log. Where's Heather? I think she might have fallen. Yes, she has. That won't help Heather at all. Any advantage she has is now lost. Gina now negotiates the rolling log. She's over safely. Well done, Gina. They hit the cargo net neck and neck. What an effort from these two competitors. They've been going at it all night. As they come towards the top of the net, who'll get there first? Gina has her arms over. And up she gets. Off to the flying fox. The flying fox is difficult because you have to steady yourself. It's a test of judgment. You've got to know how to land. Gina, well done, a great drop. But Heather looked a bit awkward. She may have hurt herself. Gina's on the balance beam. Heather's hurting. Gina can't afford to slip. Will her ankle hold out? As she comes up to the travel ladder, Heather's right behind her. There goes Gina up to the top. She just has to negotiate the rope swing and she's through. Gina's our champion for tonight's eliminator. Here comes Heather. She doesn't want any help. She'll negotiate the travel ladder all on her own. Come on, Heather, you can do it. Yes, she does. Well done, Heather. A rope swing in your home. Heather, you may have come second, but you're a champion in our hearts. Let's now cross down to Aaron, who has an interview with our champion, Gina. Gina, I know it's excruciating, but how does it really feel? I mean, you've been through a lot tonight. You've been cleaned up by the gladiators, and it looks like the eliminators cleaned you up. Yeah, I'm not giving in, though. I'm, I'm going to come back. I'm going to give them a hard time next time. Oh, well, Gina, best of luck. You made it to the quarterfinals. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Heather, unfortunately, you had her there. <laughs> Yeah, I just landed really badly off the zip line and um, jarred my back. I just took just took the breath out of me. But it was close there on the cargo net. Yeah, yeah, we were sort of neck and neck there for a while. It was, yeah. It was an exciting race, Heather. Yeah, well, We'd like to thank you for being a part of Gladiators. Thanks very much. OK, gentlemen, we have Clinton and Howard, who are both about to begin the Eliminator. Now, you've both taken quite a pounding in a lot of the games. Clinton, you made it to the top of Pyramid. Did that give you increased confidence? Yeah, it did, actually. Um, yeah, most of the games tonight, uh, Howard and I have, you know, taken a beating, beating by, uh, you know, the uh, Gladiators. So, um, to actually come out on top on the Pyramid, yeah, it, go, it gave me a great uh, confidence boost. Uh, does it give you more confidence knowing that you haven't got Gladiators in this game? The only obstacles we have to overcome here aren't going to move or hit us, so that's pretty good. Well, go for it. Good luck to both of you. As Clinton scored more points, he will have a five-second head start on Howard. Howard, you're going Johns. Three, two, one. Clinton takes off in the men's eliminator. He's setting a cracking pace as he goes through the hurdles. Here comes Howard. He's doing just as well. Clinton up the top of the rope climb. Well done. Howard now negotiates the rope climb. Clinton on the monkey bars. Howard catching up. Look at him fly on these monkey bars. Clinton on the rolling logs gets right across those easy. Here comes Howard. Clinton climbing the net well. But Howard, he's kept something in reserve. Look at him go. Where's he got this from? He's up the top of the net. The flying fox for Howard, down he comes. A good landing is needed, yes, that was a nice landing for Howard. Here comes Clinton, he also lands well too. Howard on the balance beam, he slips. He's lost his advantage and here comes Clinton. Oh no, he's fallen, he'll have to go back to the start. Howard off the balance beam and up the travelator. He'll grab the rope and go through the banner. Howard's our men's eliminator champion. Here comes Clinton. He's put in a great effort tonight also as he grabs the rope and goes through the banner in second place. Howard, you did it. He had a five-second 
start on you, but you still managed to make it through. Yeah, it was uh, it was a bit hard, but I pushed it pretty pretty well. And I had a bit of a minor mix-up at the start of the beam there, but still managed to come through with it. And what happened there at the, at the start? I just stepped on it um, on a bit of an angle and just nearly lost my balance a bit. Well, you're puffing a little bit now, but you're not even sweaty. I'm very impressed. <laughs> and uh, the cargo net is the one that most people have trouble with. You just climbed right on up like you've been doing it for years. I do like the climbing, so, you know, maybe if we go through the quarterfinals, I might get one of those games. And you might get to do the wall. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Well, congratulations. You're into the quarterfinal. Fantastic effort. Thank you, Kimberly. Clinton, disappointed? Uh, very disappointed, yeah. Um, yeah, I got to the cargo net, had a bit of trouble in the cargo net, so uh, power consequently caught up to me. And then I thought I had him in the beam. I came back at him and uh, my ankle sort of uh, twisted out a bit and uh, came off the beam. So. I know, I saw that. You were neck and neck there and uh, it was on the cargo net that he really started to catch you. Yeah, yeah, that was the, uh, the turning point of the match. So, no, he did really well. And what was going through your mind at that point? Well, I thought he had it at the top of the cargo net and then uh, I thought, well, if he has a bit of a misfortune on the, on the beam, well, I'm back at him and, and that happened. But... Uh, Consequently, I fell off. Okay, well, it was a disappointing run, but I think you'll agree. You performed fantastically throughout the competition. I think you should be proud of yourself. Let's have a round of applause for Clinton and Howard. <laughs> Gina and Howard are into the quarterfinals. Good luck to them both. And if they keep on winning, they're in the running for a trip to England. And our grand finalists will fly to England to compete in the International Gladiators. They'll fly there, courtesy of KLM, Royal Dutch Airlines, and they won't be going alone. Four of our Gladiators will tag along to keep them out of mischief. And when our challengers get to England, they'll be able to call home on their Optus mobile phone. Our challengers will face other winners from Britain and America, and some of our gladiators will be over there to show the worldwide audience just what we're made of. The two lucky winners of the final, if they have any energy left, will drive away in Hyundai's luxurious flagship, the Sonata Levant. With its three-litre V6 engine, the Sonata has leather trim, cruise control, electric sunroof, power windows, central locking, ABS brakes, and an airbag for added safety. Well, Aaron, I've really enjoyed the enthusiasm of tonight's athletes. And once again, our gladiators have provided a formidable force to our challengers. Well, we'll see you again same time next week. Good night. See you later.